Where Brave Men Fall is a riveting and disturbing journey across the pages of World War II military and political history. Painstakingly researched, the authors tell the story of American and British political, military and espionage intrigues and the events leading up to and culminating in the Battle of Dieppe. Their conclusions are both profound and sobering, revealing how the Dieppe raid was part of a grand British and American military deception resulting in the cold-blooded and calculated sacrifice of Canadian troops, in part to prevent Hitler from freeing up his Western forces for an anticipated German invasion of Spain. At the heart of the author's research are new and disturbing revelations, outlining of the role played by the American media, specifically Life and Time magazine, in the publication of coded messages designed to forewarn the Nazis of the upcoming raid on the French coast. Prelude to Carnage, setting the stage for disaster. The English Channel, a seemingly innocuous stretch of water, has borne witness to countless historical dramas, its surface rippling with the echoes of triumphs and tragedies alike. On August 19, 1942, beneath a sky heavy with anticipation, this maritime stage was set for yet another pivotal act in the global conflict of World War II. Operation Jubilee, as it was codenamed, promised a bold strike against Hitler's fortress Europe, a daring raid on the German-occupied port of Dieppe, France. Over 6,000 Allied troops, primarily Canadians, embarked on a perilous journey across the Channel, their vessels cutting through the waves towards the French coastline. The objective seemed clear, to seize and hold Dieppe, disrupting German defences, gathering intelligence and delivering a resounding blow to the enemy's morale. The raid, however, was destined to be etched in the annals of history not as a resounding victory, but as a harrowing testament to the brutal realities of war. As the first rays of dawn illuminated the beaches of Dieppe, a maelstrom of fire and steel erupted, engulfing the Allied forces in a desperate struggle for survival. The German defenders, well prepared and heavily armed, unleashed a withering barrage of artillery, mortar fire and machine gun rounds, transforming the once peaceful shore into a scene of unimaginable carnage. The Allied troops met with fierce resistance from the outset, fought valiantly but faced insurmountable odds. Tanks bogged down on the pebble beaches became easy targets for German gunners, while infantry units found themselves pinned down under a relentless hail of bullets. Communication breakdowns and logistical nightmares further compounded the chaos, leaving the attackers vulnerable and disoriented. As hours turned into an eternity of bloodshed, the hope of a swift and decisive victory dissipated, replaced by a grim determination to simply survive. The raid, conceived as a bold offensive, rapidly descended into a desperate fight for survival. Outnumbered and outgunned, the Allied forces clung to life amidst the relentless German onslaught, their courage and resilience tested to the breaking point. The beaches, once envisioned as a springboard for liberation, were transformed into a gruesome tableau of death and destruction. The waters of the English Channel, now churned red with the blood of fallen comrades, bore silent witness to the tragic cost of this ill-fated operation. The disastrous Dieppe Raid, a dark chapter in Canadian military history, continues to spark debate and controversy, its true purpose and the reasons for its catastrophic failure shrouded in mystery and speculation. Some historians maintain that the raid was a necessary, albeit costly, operation designed to test German defences and gather valuable intelligence in preparation for the eventual Allied invasion of France. Others, however, view Dieppe as a colossal blunder, a poorly planned and ill-conceived operation that sacrificed thousands of lives for little strategic gain. Adding fuel to the fire are allegations that the Dieppe raid was compromised from the outset, that German intelligence had been tipped off about the Allied plans, allowing them to prepare a devastating counter-attack. 
The sheer scale of the Allied losses, particularly among the Canadian troops, has led some to speculate that the raid was deliberately sacrificed. A blood offering intended to appease Stalin's demands for a second front in Western Europe or to mislead the Germans about the timing and location of the true Allied invasion. One of the most intriguing theories surrounding the Dieppe raid centers on the role of Wilhelm Canaris, the enigmatic head of German intelligence. In the book, Where Brave Men Fall, Canaris, a known opponent of Hitler and his war plans, is shown to have received information about the raid from the Allies in order to have Canaris conceal the build-up of Operation Torch, whether motivated by a desire to save lives or to undermine the Nazi war effort Canaris's alleged actions, if true, would cast the Dieppe Raid in a new and disturbing light. The Dieppe Raid, regardless of its intended purpose or the reasons for its failure, remains a tragic and controversial chapter in World War II history. The sacrifice of so many lives, particularly those of the brave Canadian soldiers who landed on those blood-soaked beaches, demands a full and transparent accounting of the events that led to such a devastating loss. George and Darrell Foste's book, Where Brave Men Fall, The Battle of Dieppe and the Espionage War Against Hitler, examines the haunting Dieppe enigma, giving a stark reminder of the human cost of war and the enduring power of secrets to shape the course of history. 